guys, today I'm going to be making, it's called Crock-Pot Cube Steak, and it like makes a gravy in the Crock-Pot. Yeah, it was a recipe I saw on Facebook, so I'm going to give it a try. So all you need is a packet of the gravy mix, a half a cup of water, um, a can of cream of chicken soup, I didn't realize mine was like fat free, but oh well. <laughs> a can of a French onion soup, and then your cube steak. So first off, in the bottom of a crock pot, I have mine on high because my um, cube sticks, I put them in the freezer. They were in the freezer for like two days, so I'm going to do mine partially. It says you cook it on, on low for six to eight hours, but I'm going to do mine on high for a little bit and then put it on um, low. So the first thing you do is you put your gravy, your water, and both cans of soup in your crock pot and stir them together. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't add water to your soup, just pour them in as is. Okay, I've got them in there, I'm just stirring to combine. I'm really excited that this takes cream of chicken because a lot of recipes use call for uh, cream of mushroom. And I don't like mushrooms, so I don't like those little bits of mushrooms that are in cream of mushroom soup. So the fact that this takes cream of chicken makes me very happy. The chunks you see in there are the onion from the French onion soup. Which, this just smells amazing. <laughs> and it says, like, as it cooks in there, like, we already have some instant or some refrigerated mashed potatoes that we can put the gravy on. But as it cooks in here, it makes the cube steak, like, so tender. And then it has the gravy that they're in so they're not dry. I usually make cube steak in the skillet with, like, green peppers and onions. A lot of people will, like coat them in flour and then cook them. Sorry if that noise is bothering you, but I like a fork so I can kind of smash this stuff up. Yeah, so it'll be a nice yummy gravy. Now at Sam's you can get cube steak for a really great price. I got mine for four bucks a pack at the grocery store the other day. It wasn't on sale, but I didn't care. I wanted to make it. So I have four cube steaks, it was like eight dollars, and then all this stuff was like super cheap. So now that I have this all combined, I'm going to grab my cube steaks and put them in. Like I said, mine are frozen. So I'm gonna do it on high for a little bit and then on low. But normally you would just use regular cube steak, not frozen, put them in and then just let it cook for six to eight hours. So I'm gonna get my cube steaks in. Okay, I put my cube steaks in. I actually have four of them in here. I might just try to flip them. Like I said, mine are frozen. So as they, oh, as they um, start to thaw, I'll be able to separate them and kind of squeeze them all in there. Yeah. Now I just need to put the litter, the litter, put the lid on and let them cook. I'll keep checking them. Like I said, they cook on low for six to eight hours if they're not frozen. And, um, where did that go? It felt like it slopped on me. So I'll just keep checking them periodically so I can separate them and move them around. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so it's 7.06 now. We're getting ready to eat. I, um, I cooked them on high from 2 till 5, and then I put it on low. I had it on low till now. Oops. And I just tasted a bite. Let me get it pulled out of here. And oh my gosh, this cube steak, like just, look at it. It just falls apart with a fork. There's four of them in here. The mashed potatoes are in the microwave. Look at that. Oh, it's, it is so good. My house has been teasing me all day. Mmm. -hmm. It has so much flavor and it is so tender. Definitely try this. It is delicious. I'll show you my plate once I plate it up. Hey guys, so I was just trying out, like doing a quick run through. I want to be the Mad Hatter for tomorrow because Adri's going to be the Queen of Hearts. I don't have orange eyeshadow or anything, so that's the closest to orange I could find for my eyebrows. And I'll change a few things for tomorrow, like I'll make my face more white. I didn't want to waste a ton of white just for this run through. And I probably won't make my colors come down so far. But other than that, I think I'm going to be the Mad Hatter tomorrow with my little queen of hearts. We're getting ready to eat dinner. 
it's I tasted a couple bites and it's so good I cannot wait to sit down with a plate of food getting some milk so yeah after I eat dinner I'll probably I did a tutorial on this look I'll probably post it even though I'll probably get a shit ton of hate that it looks like crap but oh well it'll be better tomorrow so like in some pictures you can tell he has one blue eye and one purple and other pictures you can't tell and some pictures you can tell that there's like green around the pink and other ones you can't tell some of them his lips look purple some they look orange like I said I don't have money I need to look through and see if I can find an orange blush I can't find I couldn't find anything orange for my eyebrows what did you do there? like a brown with like gold over top of it like I kept packing on the orange and it wouldn't show up orange and maybe tomorrow after I take Adrian to school, maybe I'll look at Dollar Tree for an orange wig. And then I could just take pieces out here and clip them to my hat so it would stand out like the Mad Hatter's. And that would probably make it look more like the Mad Hatter. But yeah, gonna fun. eat some dinner. Thanks, babe. It's hard to do. Like the lines on your eyes, it's really hard to do. So yeah, this is not my calling. Halloween makeup is not, but... If I do it for tomorrow, I'll vlog tomorrow. I'll vlog tomorrow anyway because it's trick-or-treat night. So yeah, I'm going to eat some dinner. Okay, guys. Here is the finished product. Look at that. You just need a fork. It's so tender. I put the gravy on the mashed potatoes. What do you think? Well, his steak's already gone, so... <laughs> One of his... Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm having a cube steak, my shares of gravy, some veggies, and a cup of milk. And this is my dinner.